Welcome to the second grade math homework help presentation. Times change, technology changes, and knowledge changes about how to best teach students. This means sometimes our children are learning subjects in some ways that leaves parents scratching our heads at the second grade homework. Today, your kids are learning a subject like math differently. They will still learn formulas and equations, but they will be using new techniques and multiple strategies to help them make sense of math. If they understand mathematics, they will be able to solve any problem they encounter in future learning. This change is critical for your kids. More kids will get math, more kids will stay with it and go further in math. They'll be able to staff the jobs of tomorrow. We know you want to be able to help your kids with their homework, but that you might need some help in brushing up on how kids are learning today. This presentation will provide you with insight as to how to support your child with homework. Are you wondering, why is this math so confusing? What is it and where can I get help? Well, help is on the way. There's nothing better than seeing your kids succeed and there's nothing worse than not being able to help them when they're struggling. Math may look different now, but we are here to help. This presentation will help you become a math superhero. You probably have questions such as, what are the benefits of math homework? How much time should students spend on homework? What could the homework look like? And what resources are available to support parents? This presentation will help answer these questions. Let's start with the benefits of math homework. So who benefits from homework? Well, students benefit because they have an opportunity to deepen their understanding and solidify skills and concepts that they learned in class. Parents benefit also. Homework communicates to them what students are learning. It's an opportunity for parents to help their children build study habits. It also benefits the teacher. Homework gives the teacher feedback about students learning. It should help guide decisions about what math instruction students need. How much time should students be spending on math homework? As parents, sometimes we feel like students spend a long time on homework. However, the School District of Hillsborough County does provide parents and teachers with specific guidelines as to how homework should be utilized at each grade level. For second grade, homework should not exceed a total of 30 minutes per night. Homework should be coordinated among teachers or team members so as not to exceed the recommended amount of time devoted to homework. In other words, the 30 minutes for a second grade student is for all subjects, not just math. If you feel like your child is regularly exceeding the 30 minutes guideline for homework, we encourage you to talk to your child's teacher and talk about strategies or ideas of how your student could best be supported or how homework could be modified. Now that we know the recommended amount of time for homework, let's take a closer look at what second grade homework could look like. First, kids should have the skills needed to complete the homework independently. Homework should be practice of learned content, not new content. The assigned task should strengthen students' understanding. So let's look at some examples of second grade homework. Homework may come from the textbook, Go Math. Notice that the textbook provides opportunities to reinforce new learning, as well as review of previously learned content called a spiral review. Your child's homework may be real world application of what they're learning. In this example, students have been learning about equal groups. So for their homework, they have to find something around their house that they could describe with equal groups. They're drawing a model, writing a word problem and an equation, all um, based on something that they're finding in the house. Students may also have problem solving for homework. 
Problem solving allows students to apply what they have learned to a problem type situation. In this case, we have examples of problem solving in geometry, where students are determining the number of cubes that would be needed to build a rectangular prism, or the number of straws it would take to make a hexagon and triangle. Students may come home with a math game to play to reinforce the content they learned in class. The game should have directions and the material should be given to you or be things that you could easily find around your house. In this game, you're simply taking the game of war that you might normally play with cards, but instead you're playing it with coins to reinforce the idea of the name of each coin, the value of each coin, and counting groups of coins. The last type of homework question we're going to look at here is a process question. In this type of question, a student is asked to problem solve and then explain the process that they used uh, when solving the problem or their thought process when they were solving the problem. This allows the teacher to get more than just an answer, but to really understand what the student was thinking or how they solved the problem. To support your child with their homework, it's important to ask questions. Questions that you could ask your child while they're working on their homework include, let's estimate before you solve. Is your answer reasonable? If they're struggling, you might ask if there's other problems they've solved like this before. Encourage them to think about what they're trying to find out. Also asking them about what's happening in the problem and having them tell in their own words helps them process through that problem another time and make sense of it. Another question is, what does the number in the problem represent? Sometimes students simply pick the numbers out of a problem and don't make sense of what those numbers mean in that particular problem. This document provides additional questions that you could ask to your student as they're doing their homework. Each of these questions is aligned with a particular standard for mathematical practice. I wanted to point out under number three, the question, if I told you the answer was, offer a wrong answer, for example, seven, how would you explain to me that I am wrong? I like this type of question because it really gets at a student's deeper understanding of the mathematics rather than just if a particular answer is right or wrong. An additional support tool that we have for parents in Hillsborough County are parent flyers. Each unit in second grade has a parent flyer to provide additional information on the content. Each flyer is a front and back of one piece of paper and we'll look deeper at each section in the parent flyer. First, you'll see a description of learning so that you understand what might be happening as your child is learning the content. And it will also be giving you some pictures or strategies that you might see your student coming home with so that you'll better be able to help them with their homework. In this example, we see how a student might model two-digit addition using base 10 blocks, and then how that relates to the traditional addition that we might have done when we were students. The parent quick smarts videos that are included in the flyers were made by teachers in Hillsborough County to support parents in making sense of the content and strategies that are used with teaching second grade mathematics. You can access these videos through the QR code scanning it on your phone, or you can use the uh, website address given here. A few websites are included. These may be games for students to play or additional practice that you and your student could access uh, via these websites. The sample tasks are provided so that as a parent, you could uh, work with your child on things that would be similar to things that they were working with at school. Again, these are tasks that the child would be able to accomplish by the end of the unit. So if this is coming home at the beginning of the unit, they might not have learned this content yet. 
The last piece included on the parent flyer is purposeful practice. These are quick tips or quick ideas of things you can do at home to support your child or reinforce the skill or concept that's being taught at school. We also want to provide some additional online resources that might support you with content that your child is working on. LearnZillion is a website that includes over 3,000 quick math video lessons that were created by teachers and are aligned with the math content. This is a great resource for both parents and students. Think Central is the online version of our Go Math textbook. Students can access uh, not only the textbook, but also online resources and other tools. Notice here that the username and password your child will need to log in. And also the parent flyers that we looked at earlier in the video are available on our, webs on our district website. To continue advocating for your child, it is imperative that you establish communication with your child's teacher. Ask questions at a conference or other time as you have concerns or that you just want to support your child's learning. Questions you might ask. What are the upcoming topics in math? What math topic causes my child the most difficulty? How can I best support what is happening in the mathematics classroom? Should my child be able to complete the homework on their own? I'm worried about why my child can't finish the problems. What might we do to help him or her? If my child is struggling with homework, how should I communicate this to you? And how does my child receive feedback about their homework? These are just some questions to get the conversation started between you and your child's teacher. We hope this presentation provided you with the knowledge and information you need to be your child's biggest advocate. Thank you for joining us as we looked at some different ways that you can be a math homework superhero for your child. This publication was made possible in part by a grant from Carnegie Corporation of New York. The statements made in these expressed are solely the responsibility of the author.